All right, today we're at the boat and had a couple questions about the stern thruster that we have. Everybody's always wondering what this big thing hanging off the front port side of this motor is. This is a Perkins motor. This is actually a Dixon stern thruster. As far as I know, they're still in business and selling thrusters, and this is a hydraulic thruster. It has that additional pulley on the front, has that big magnetic clutch, you can see the wire going to the magnetic clutch. That magnetic clutch is very similar to what's in the air conditioner of your car. You apply voltage to it, and there's an electromagnet in there, and it pulls in uh, one side and uh, will begin rotating the, uh, the inner part. The outer part will rotate. The belts will rotate all the time the engine's running, but as soon as that magnetic clutch is activated, the inner part will begin running too, which is attached to that hydraulic motor and then uh, it begins pumping fluid and now this only pumps one way you know the, the stern thruster obviously goes in two directions port and starboard but this pump only runs one way and I'll show you how it uh, diverts fluid one way or the other to the motor which does reverse so this pump does not reverse eventually the reversing action takes place at the motor through uh, two valves so let me get down there and I'll show you the control side Okay, so there is the hydraulic reservoir, which is the black tank. It gets filled on the other side. There's a little uh, lid that comes up. It's got a filter. That black thing with a little silver piece is actually uh, like a solenoid valve. There's one on the other side too. So it's those two valves that open on one side or the other to divert fluid to the hoses which it's those two hoses, it's hard to see, but there's a hose right there and a hose right there and they go up and they go out the back to the uh, stern thruster motor, which is of course is a hydraulic motor. A couple gauges on there. I need to replace this one. It was fluid filled, but most of the fluid has uh, come out. As a matter of fact, you can see there's a little button right there, a little hole that should have a little button in there and should have glycerin, it should be glycerin filled, but the gauge is kind of old and needs to be replaced. Now, this stern thruster, this Dixon stern thruster, as far as I know, has never needed service. I mean, since we've owned it for three years, maybe a little more, we've never had to do anything to it. And we've, we haven't used it a ton, but I, I test it all the time, and we use it every time we go out. So it works good. And uh, in the history, the guy that owned the boat originally and installed the thruster, he uh, never had any mention of any service to it. Now here's the, uh, so we can get some good light on there. There is the control panel, and there's one just like this on the upper helm. So that middle button, silver button, is to pull it and arm it, and that turns on uh, that yellow. Let me see if I can do this here. So when this is armed, you have, this is, uh, you know, I don't have the engine running, but it'll still activate. And then that is to port and then starboard. I did replace all these lights because um, they were not LED so I replaced them with LED lights all right so that's how it's controlled now notice that that toggle switch stays so it's three position and it's not spring loaded to return to center and that's because there's no duty cycle on the hydraulic stern thruster if you want to pin this to the dock you can just leave it there and it will continue to run as a matter of fact on the hydraulic stern thruster they have options where you can rotate the uh the stern thruster and put it down below the boat and you can use this as a get home motor however since it's running off of the engine the only time that that could be beneficial is if say the transmission or the running gear like the prop or shaft or something had a problem now one thing to notice also is that belt is uh, obviously or the, the pump is attached via belt so if you have the RPM of the engine set at 600 and you engage that clutch right there you're gonna get whatever horsepower at whatever flow rate out of the thruster motor so if you increase it to a thousand RPM then you're gonna get more power at the thruster because it's gonna pump more fluid so the the authority or the the horsepower rating of the thruster motor in the aft is variable depending on how much RPM you have so a lot of times if I'm back in a slip and it's a nice day I just need 
say 800 rpm or 700 rpm and you just bump this thruster a little bit and it's a nice easy day and you're not putting a lot of horsepower but on a on a sporty day sometimes i will uh you know operate it at, it's supposed to be no more than a thousand rpm i have run it up to 1100 maybe a little bit more to get more authority out of it or you know some i think one of the reasons why they don't want you running at too high of rpm is because this engages with a hard thunk so if it engages you know, and your engine's at a lot of RPM, it's much tougher on that clutch and all the components. So one of the ways around that is to, uh, you know, say if you're backing in in neutral, but your aft is, is going in the opposite direction that you want it, you can engage it at, say, 800 RPM, but then throttle up to 1100. And that's going to give you more power at the stern thruster. So let's look at the stern thruster here. Okay, so you can kind of see the thruster down there. I'll get a bend down here and get a better picture of it. Let's see, so there's the thruster. Two hydraulic lines that just go through bulkhead fittings above the water line. So that's not a problem. The mount is mostly above the water line. That's a big stainless steel plate. And I think there are a couple bolts also above the water line down there. It's hard to see. So not much goes below the water line. There is a zinc that goes on there if you can see it wearing away a little bit and I have a diver that comes out and cleans the boat and he cleans that thruster so we're gonna fire up the engine I'll show you what kind of authority it has and uh, show the operation all right hopefully you can hear me I got the uh, engine fired up and if you notice the belts are moving around this pulley but the center of that is not moving so it won't move until I engage the uh, toggle right here. So let's arm it, right? And let's just, you'll hear the difference here. All right, and I'll show you what that looks like. look out the back so we're at uh, about 927 rpm let's see what kind of authority we have here Go out here and we'll take some video. Uh, it's a little bit windy out, so the boat's getting blown around, anyways. But uh, she's got a video of the prop or the hydraulic motor and uh, show what kind of authority it has. So we go up front. two of them yeah if you get a bigger boat you can get two of these and uh, uh, there's different configurations they even have a like I said a pipe that it goes down and turns and locks in place so you can use it for a thrust like if you have you can even have them powered off of your generator so if you have a larger generator I only have a 13 horsepower generator so if you had a bigger generator you could have it running off your generator and use it in that way so 
All right, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.